This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Three local fire agencies announced a historic agreement on Thursday with the goal of better serving people in our community. They have created what's called an automatic aid agreement. This includes Tucson Fire, Golder Ranch, and Northwest Fire Districts. They've agreed to send the closest and most appropriate resources to emergencies, regardless of jurisdictional boundaries. People in a Tucson neighborhood pulled together and learned a little bit more on how to maximize the city's help. This was all to reduce crime and issues with homeless people. Rather than simply displacing the homeless, Tucson police referred them to counseling. People People that live in the Barrio Santa Cruz neighborhood say in less than a year, the situation improved 100%. Saguaro High School is expected to hold a meeting for parents over threatening social media posts. This comes after threats were made last week and over the Veterans Day weekend. It will be in the school's auditorium tonight from 5 to 6. Well, the Tucson Unified School District and the University of Arizona have teamed up to find out if plants grow better under solar panels. It started in 2017. Nine on your side is Veronica Vernaccio. Has more on that. Hey guys, good morning. Here at Mons Elementary School, that experiment that you're talking about is actually being done with two different gardens. There's the controlled garden. That one is actually under the sun, but then there's the experimental garden. That one is under these solar panels right here that's giving energy back to Monzo Elementary School. Now, all of the research that's being collected for this is actually done by some high tech equipment over from the university, but the hands on stuff that's being done by four fourth grade girls in a science club. That club actually meets twice a week and they're doing university level research hands on giving it back to the university, but also giving them an opportunity to learn all of this science stuff and actually all the plants you see in this garden here. They actually are sold back into the community in their Monzo market and that runs over in the parent pickup line at Monzo Elementary School. But for now reporting at Monzo Elementary School, Veronica Vernaccio, Kika 9 on your side. Well, the Arizona Game and Fish Department says the Mount Graham Red Squirrel is seeing a population increase of 4%. Good news, right? In February, only 75 of the squirrels were still alive. Most of the squirrels' habitat was severely damaged by the Fry Fire. That was about two years ago. The Tucson Police Department opened up its doors to all of its facilities for the community last night. We're told this was actually a first. Chief Chris Magnus says after a smaller arts event last year at its headquarters, he decided it would be a good idea for the public to get up close and personal, taking a look inside the department. People were able to tour the facilities and ask some questions as well. All right, let's head over to April for a look outside. Good morning, April. Good morning to you. We are still sitting at 50 at the airport. That's been the low all morning long, so a little cool out there. If you're just now heading out the door over the next hour or so, you're going to need that jacket. Otherwise, even with the clouds that we're seeing out there, and they will stick around off and on throughout the day, we're still going to warm up. Low 80s today, right through a very nice weekend. Just about anything you have planned will be perfect this weekend if it's outdoors. Look at Monday, 84, but then watch what happens. We don't only get down to the 70s. We're going to drop from the 80s to the 60s with a chance for rain and mountain snow by midweek.